Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Lutri campaign. We'll pick things up for episode 21 from turn 93 in the summer season of 201. So last time we ended by taking out Cao Cao's capital, so he's no longer one of the kingdoms, and we're going to continue taking his land and um, some of the other enemies around here in the south. We have Sun Ce still in the war, Wang Rui, and maybe some Nanman territory. Not sure about that part yet, but we'll see. Uh, as for the north, Liu Bei is being a good boy, so we're not going to mess with him until we finish up the south. Then we'll just teleport all the armies over, wrap up his capital, and this will be the campaign. So there shouldn't be too much going on. Uh, we're a little bit behind in terms of total land mass. Uh, we only have 73. If we include the vassal, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 14... 15? No, this is 16. 16. 19. Ooh, we have a lot. We have a lot. If we add 19 here, we're at 92? Alrighty. That means we should just set up an army over there and uh, go for the capital as soon as possible. And it's going to be this group. I think we've been saving them uh, for a while now, getting them to level up. We're not going to take... We're not going to take Tarion with us, unfortunately. Oh, He's not high enough level where he has that really awesome skill of his. So he doesn't really have much to offer, whereas uh, Li Jue and Zhang He both are much better here. So... They will come onto the field next turn with a full stack we'll send them out here and uh, make a beeline for the capital we don't even have to declare war on him until we get to the capital because you know we're not really playing the trustworthy uh, type here so we have that set up uh, we still have to deal with Liu Biao unfortunately all right let's just do it one at a time They need one more turn. I am not convinced we need to march now. Well, we can't reach them anymore since the load issue, but um, we're also not healed because we got booted out of our vassal's lands. We lost mustering. Um, so it's probably best we... Maybe we can tempt them into fighting us, that would be nice, but I doubt it. Alright, this is more of a defensive setup. I do want them to come over to us, and this seems to be what they're doing, so we're just going to ambush right outside. It's going to be better. And we don't need to go farther south, because we have enough land. Right, if we have enough land, then it's a lot easier. Land, getting enough land was the issue. So like, if he doesn't want to fight anymore, I don't need to fight him anymore either. Ooh, that's actually close. Like, his lands are good, for sure. There is a weapon craftsman, or armor craftsman, and a T. But this campaign is not going to last that long then there's really no point. Uh, maybe just pay us. Oh, he's so poor. Would you become a vassal? Oh, this is doable. We'll never absorb you. And we'll offer you, out of our 102 food... Let's see when it stops going up by 0.5. It says he's very lacking in food. There we go, 10 food, okay. And we throw him some items, we have so many items. And 
maybe money. We also have so much money. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so we vassalized someone. We vassalized some more factions. We probably can. So we gained more land that way again. So getting closer to our goal. Alright, all the armies have moved. We have a ton of cash. We're going to do land development. I know we no longer need food, but still. I think we want to... I mean, it gives a decent amount of income, a decent amount of population growth. I think it's a good fourth building choice, regardless. Mm. See, the problem here is this would be the right build, but we don't have any adjacency going on, so... It's definitely less efficient than it could be. Alright, we're so rich now that we'll upgrade the passes. Make our emperor's 10% uh, building upkeep worth a little bit more by boosting our <laughs> upkeep cost per turn. Uh, get another building slot. Oh, I should be giving this... Oh, this is Emperor's I can't... Yeah. Yeah, I can't give it away. I've got to keep it. Okay, we have 2,000 left. That's a pretty good amount. We have this spy here. Not a big deal. We, we know he has some nice generals. They're not coming out. I'm trying to convince him to leave, but he needs points. We just did interference at the end of the last episode. That's going to take a little bit of time. And I think we're good. We're good to go. Let's continue. Okay, our ambush worked uh, right outside of our iron mine. Lobel fell for it. Uh, so we will try to just delegate this, I think. We get a heal up, and uh, he's not really worth our time. I'm gonna just release him. Oh, our vassal declares independence on us in Anping up here. I mean, they don't like us. Cheng Wu want to offer one of their characters to marry the emperor's son. Huh. Wishful thinking. Well, technically not the emperor's son, but the emperor's brother. The former emperor's son. Yuan Qin Shan, Yuan Shu's daughter. Wow, so many people. Ding Yuan. Uh, might be a spy though, and also extremely old. Rising Dragon's also not that good. Yuan Long. Uh, this would be a. Yuan Long? I'm trying to think how he's related to Yuan Shao or Yuan Shu. I'm not sure if he is. No, actually, Yuan Long, let me think. Yuan Hong, Yuan Zhong, Yuan Hong. Those are their cousins. They have another brother named Yuan Ji. Their father is Yuan Feng. And their uncles are Yuan Ping, Yuan Cheng, and Yuan Gui. Yeah, I don't know who. I don't think Yuan Long is actually related. I could be wrong though. Their tree is crazy. Um, their father is like one of twelve kids. So if I'm missing anyone off the top of my head. Then I might just be missing. Oh, a potential strategist. Because we actually need a strategist in the army that we're forming with Zhang He for the raid. Um, the independence 
would mean war, so we have to take care of this. I mean, it's good timing, actually. Oh, we have Xun Yu. Okay, then it doesn't matter if they get along or not. Where is Zhang He? There you are. We're not gonna waste Xun Yu here. Do you have flexibility? Yes, and reach. Perfect. Why don't you take um, this as well? Just for movement. And we're gonna go... We'll go with our standard fare. Um, you know, we've been using it the whole campaign. Juggernaut formation. And then we'll do Onyx Dragons. He'll be in charge of frontline. See, in this case, he can't get our unique cavalry, so what we're going to give him instead is probably Imperial Lancer cavalry. Not that he has the greatest cunning, but they're decent cavalry units as well. I mean, decent. We said decent. We didn't say great. Hmm, what else can we do here? He's not close to leveling up. And we don't have any advanced cavalry unlocked. Are we close to getting advanced cavalry unlocked? We are not close. Okay. What if we pick a more suitable candidate here? I mean, I don't have anyone who's ranked 6. That's for sure. But... Tai Wenjun? Willing to spy? Yeah. Comes with 3 items too? All right, we're going to do it. We do lose reach and flexibility. So that is a trade-off here, obviously. Uh, she's the administrator of Wudu. Oh, so she's not even the spy, so I, yeah, I'm recruiting her from my own pool. And then we're going to give her, obviously, our faction unique unit. They don't have the best synergies with Sentinels, but... They are still excellent units. They'll just be a lot slower and have worse charge, but that is the price we're paying here. I should really give these back, but Nilbel's not wiped it, so you can hold on to them for us. Alright, they should still all heal within two turns, yes. And then we'll just walk through our vassal's land using the excuse that our vassal rebelled on us to move armies through. Uh, to approach Nobe's territory. And let's see, we got a bunch of level up. Zhongvin. Uh, we'll pick that up. He's never going to see the field, even though he is burned. We, hmm, he, he's on, he's administrators. I think he's also, I think he's in the army. Yeah, he is. He's guarding the capital. So it's not like we're not using him. Anyone dares to attack Hulao Gate? Okay, Liu Bell's army, this one here. This one stuck with us. I do have perceptive. I could borrow the horse. I'm only level 3 though, it's gonna be terrible capture odds. I could change that now, can I? I can't reach them, but there's an army coming up here that we can absolutely smash. Pyrrhic victory, huh? Do we delegate that poorly? I guess we have to fight this. Let's go. 
Alright, this should be a field day for us. For our fire-breathing juggernauts against so many infantry. They have like one cavalry unit and I think three archers. Like one of their special archers and two archer militias. Just terrible units overall. Um, we probably still have to protect the flank even if they only have one melee cavalry. Oh, we even get towers. This isn't fair. Oh my god, they're willing to do? Why say no to free experience? I should have used it before. Oh, it's pending duel. Well, if I ran up close, I could have used it. Wow. Sometimes running away is not the correct choice. Alright, there goes all three of their range units. I want to smash when the infantry get close. I know they'll walk around me in a circle, but I can probably still splash some damage onto them. Like right now. Let's see if we can kill anyone. Come on, use it. Use it now's the time. Yeah, 5k damage. There we go. Probably only have to guard this flank a little bit, the frontal attack, you guys know what will happen. They all have shields. I mean, Pro Dragon has pretty good range block chance. They're nimble, apparently. Matrix style this arrows. Can't do much against rocks, though. Not exactly a melee attack. Ooh, we pull for the execution move. I want to see what it looks like. Probably just a stab, though, or a choke. Doesn't get very creative with polearm weapons. Oh, he ran away! Wow. Oh, brave, but stupid. Oh, I can I can use this now, can I? Oh, well he died. I can jump into melee and lock him in place, I guess. And then smash. Yeah, take care of the far away units. We're gonna go back and take care of these. Okay, they're gonna route. It's over. Now, how was this a Pyrrhic victory? Alrighty, that was easy. We're gonna keep the army relatively alive on the field, so they waste the army slot. Bian Zhang won the former Liang Rebels. Plus four public order. 
Ooh, so we got some decent generals here. Um, not that their bonuses are good. I mean, Ooh, so I'll probably take. Bian Zhang doesn't want to work with us. Do I want to execute him from armor though? I'm gonna release. Like piecing out with Sun Tzu would still be a good option. Piecing out and vassalizing would be a super good option. Bilbao's a different story though. We're not even gonna think about capture. There's just no potential here, so I'm not gonna waste that time. It's not like Bilbao will ever work for us either, so I'm just gonna kick him when he's down. Is there any chance? No. I could maybe turn the air. Not that it's worth anything. And then do the same thing. Switch to the air. What happened in Taotian's faction? <laughs> Gongsun Xu, Gongsun sons with him. Maybe through marriage? If I extract him, what would happen is that he will lose his heir and he will lose that set of... Oh, I should have transferred more points over before that because I could have got 40 points here for the next character I grabbed from his faction. But he should lose... There we go. You see how the authority stats are gone from his authority points? So Guo Jia should just leave during the end turn. So we might see him join our pool next turn. That's the plan here. All right, there we go. And that also leaves this army shattered. Lu Kong has... Oh, he taken all their land. Okay, so he's going to have to suicide into us, which is fine. I'm thinking Dong Zhuo's army should go up north now that the south is pretty much... Won oh, there's another army here. They're sieging us. I'll let them siege us, actually. Um, they might win this. I mean, if they fight it. That's a, that's a lot of generals. Yeah, I think they're going north. We'll sail. Yeah, he has the right skills. Hmm. Now she runs. There we go. We're in reinforcement range. And uh, we should be wiping out the Obel's faction next turn, or during the end turn. He should suicide into us. They're just bleeding on their way back. Our ambush. I think we wait. I don't know. There's no rush here. Yeah, there's no need to let the pressure off. We're going to keep attacking them. Should we make more armies? We don't have any, like, super good generals. Hmm. We'll pass.
Alrighty, I think that's pretty good. Uh, we do have a lot of cash left. We could rush buildings, but I think we're fine. Like, we're getting really close to endgame, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait for this army to get ready next turn. We can, we can start moving them next turn, I guess. Maybe through our vassal's land, we'll still heal. And then we'll attack this, attack this, move into the obey, and then summon Don't Draw as well, move over there as well. So, should be pretty quick. Let's continue. Oh, Hua Xiong has also declared their independence against us. So these vassals no longer contend. But his army is right next to us. Let's see what he does. Guo Jia split. So Guo Jia was part of the family? He civil ward on them. He didn't leave. He just straight up civil ward. With no land to split too. Did he have an army? Like how did he how does he exist, right? If he has no land, how does he exist? Does Liu Ba have land somewhere else? Oh wow. The ultimate showdown. Zhang Liao plus Guo Jia forming their own faction. Okay, that's that's interesting, but it's not really going to concern us that much. We'll just finish things up on our front and uh, move on with that. We'll welcome all strategists. Still alive. I don't think we can do any more chase downs. Oh, we can. Okay, then he's doomed. Gongsun Xu. Since we have Gongsun Zhang, we might as well take his son in. That little army disappeared. I don't know if they went invisible or they actually died. Maybe they suicided into their place because they're at war with each other. It's possible. Uh, speaking of Lu Kang's faction, are you just willing to uh, be confederated? Nope. Hmm. They're vassals to Liu Bei, so it could get sticky. You know, when when we declare war on Liu Bei, but we're probably only going to declare war on Liu Bei once we're like right on his front door. Oh, this is interesting. He leveled up to 6 first. We'll take... Oh, actually, we don't need that bonus because we're ready 100%. So I'm going to get the mobility boost. I could swap that all to cavalry. It's an option we have. But let's first march them back over here. He can't even recruit the front lines. So someone needs to recruit the front lines. So I guess he has to keep that. I don't have to kill them, honestly. I'm thinking of giving Yu Zhang away. Oh, you know what we can do with the Emperor's brother? Make him a prince. Princedom of Yu Zhang. Yu Zhang Wang. Liu Bu Xing. Sounds pretty good. Off you go. That way we don't even have to defend it, because they're not at war with them. And we can just move along, take some of his land, keep his weakened army wandering around. Take away Cao Cao's rice. Those garrison replenishment rates. Not helping them right now. I don't even think he has the proper one build, but the potential. Rank 6. We'll take Flame of the Phoenix. Then we need to boost the cavalry. The army is pretty strong without it. I'm going to ambush here. See if he walks into us, because that's the place he'll attack. Oh, actually, no. He might not even attack this. I mean, if he's not going to mess with me, I'm not going to mess with them, and that's a pretty good policy to have. Um, they chased. They are just hanging on here because I don't know what's going to go on with Lu, uh, Lu Kang. I am going to look north. Capital's fine. Time to move against these rebels. 
Oh wow. That was shocking. Hua wow, Xiong's army, right, it was close by. Um I don't want to fight it with so many siege weapons. Oh actually ambush fail. It would be an open map. Oops. Core cavalry. Tao Ying. Um I'll take you. Alright, we have a level up. It doesn't really help us. Taking that casualty definitely hurt. I'll take Tenacity of Steel. I'm gonna borrow a garlic. Uh on on you. The army needs this. Alright, they rebel too over here. I could just chase them down. I don't have to fight them. Like, it seems like our vassal is almost fighting them, so maybe we just chase. Do we get a free chase across the river? We don't. Like, we could just start leaning over here. Still a long distance, and we need to heal. I mean, we're going to heal along the way, like, what, two, three turns? By the time we get here, we're pretty much full healed. Like, they're gonna be fine. Alright, we're gonna move through that very soon, too. I should go tall. We don't have the reform for copper mine, unfortunately. Okay, that is everything. Okay, we seem to be missing maybe an assignment. The Emperor. The Emperor has timed out. Go back to work. Like your taxes. Someone's doing a good job here. Someone's doing a good job here. I think Tongguan's also, you know, adjacent to Luoyang, so we'll put one more here. We got another strategist, I believe. Ah, Lu Su. There we go. Just doing everything we can to the, get the Emperor to rank up a bit faster. Although I think we're not going to hit it by the end of the campaign, which is... It's bad for the achievement, but I don't really mind. It's not a big deal. Well, you did your job. Your motion of abandoning your father apparently convinced all the subordinates that it's no longer worth it to serve your father. Uh, Liu Bei has Guan Yu all the way out here. Liu Bei is all the way over here. Your capital is here, sir. Your capital is here. Alright, let us continue. A marriage. Chen Deng's son. I mean, Chen Deng's family is pretty... Well established, but um, I don't want to say goodbye to her, so no. Uh, I want to know what that is. We'll reject for now. No. Oh, we got schemed again. Plus two construction time, faction wide. Oh! That was unexpected. Well, Dad finding his way back to Cao Cao regardless of the circumstances. Okay, Han, Xin, Han Sui's son, not the famous one from uh, the True Han contention, Li Dian definitely is the famous one. But in game, I think he's just a regular guy. It might be another ambush waiting for us, but I don't mind. We bump into it again, we bump into it again. 
We did it. Okay, that's good. Two armies might be overkill for what he might have over there, but we have nothing else better to do, so we're going. Oh, they took out Wukong's territory. Gongdu has done fairly well for himself. Wait, Liu Bao, they didn't, they didn't attack this. What kind of civil war is it that you just march away? I feel like they're going to get faction wiped at this pace. I mean, it's a good thing. If they get faction wiped, we, we might be able to pick up some characters. <gasps> some characters indeed. You're not going back to Tall Tall, you're coming with us. Plus three. I mean, he's the faction leader, we can't turn him. Just come back to us. Perfect. Okay, that worked out really great. I almost want to check what his experience level is each turn, right? 42k. Let's see what happens next turn. 42.5k. 522. Alright, let's take a look at Diplomacy. Tall Tall finally had enough. Would you want to be our vassal? No. Would you like to be confederated by us? No. Would you like to trade with us? Not really. I mean... The thing is, like, if he's not willing to be part of our faction, which is really what we're trying to go for, and take some characters. I don't mind keeping a couple armies here. Like, what are, what else are these armies going to do, right? Oh, he's going this way. Interesting. I mean, I'm just going to defend. We're full health. We still can't reach it next turn, but I mean, it's still going to be three turns basically. But I guess it's like, why not march? This is kind of annoying. We waste a lot of turns moving that way. But I guess there's nothing else better to do. All right, they'll take care of that. We'll come take care of this. Why don't you get back to the port? Okay. Mm. And we finally managed to get this to negative. We have so much positive going on at max tax. Because we can get a rebel spawn, we can fight it with them, and then we can probably get the book unlock. Oh, none is messed up as well. Uh, it's not that messed up, to be honest. Peasantry, a little bit of commerce, that building. I just gotta get rid of this and go for maybe an inn and be a decent build. Alrighty, let's continue. Liu Chou has a son! 
Huh. I'm okay with this. We're married into the Imperial clan here. Oh. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Of course, we'll protect the Emperor's brother, but this is slightly earlier than I wanted to go to war with Liu Bei. That's okay. Everyone has an opinion on this, but our opinion is that we'll do it. Sure. I think it's Liu Bei liberating a lot of his vassals, and the wars of their vassals against our vassals are now being treated independently, and that's why we're getting asked so many questions here. Right, these are all Liu Bei's vassals. Wukong. Yeah, Coral. Come on, this is... Yeah, this is still a problem in the game. I should still get trustworthiness for defending them, so that should balance it out. Like, I actually think I should have gotten a lot of trustworthy there, but it doesn't matter. You can see we're at war with a lot of factions, doesn't matter. It's all vassals. We're a couple steps away from his capital. That's what's... Oh, what's that? Is at war with us? What do we do to him? Ah, Cao Cao. I was like, I didn't do anything to him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, Tong Chong died. Okay. One of our vassals. Okay, sure. I mean, diplomatically, it, it doesn't look too great. There's patches of red everywhere. Uh, but overall, we're in a great place. We're still at 73. Um, vassals have decreased quite a bit. We only have six in the north, but we got more in the south. Right, so six over there. There is five here, we're at 11, there's six more here, we're at 17, there's three here, we're at 20. So we're two away, which means we take the capital as at least one more, and then we take something else, and it's, it's, it's game over. So, no need to slow this down. How do we get there fast? That's, a, that's not a bridge. That is a bridge. Why can't we take the bridge? We might need another army over here. I mean, if anyone want to mess with our capital, we have this. Anyone close to messing with us? Oh, there's a couple here. No, he didn't liberate them. He's still their vassal. So we're supporting allies in War Plus 44. We're actually really close to being trustworthy again. That's that's something new. So Tal Tal is now 22.4. I think that comes from a lot of that trustworthy points helping us there and also balance of power. Um, this is doable. We just give him cash. This is so easy. Um, obviously, I don't think we need that. Oh, close. And we're annexing them right away. <laughs> That's a lot of land again. Um, we can take a quick peek at what generals they have if I get vision of them instantly. I don't think so. But I know Xia Hou Yuan's on the field, right? We've seen that army. Oh no, did they bleed out? 
Oh, come on. I think they might have bled out. Yeah, they might have bled out. Okay, that's that's still... I mean, I'm still absorbing them this turn. Which will make our other vassals hate us a bit more, but... Um, Taltal's worth way more than any of those vassals, so... Now, Sun Ce, how do you feel about that? Come join us, too. So we pick up Tao Tao Lady Bian, uh, Tao Tao's daughter. Those are the people who are not on the field, and if they're on the field, I should pick up Zhou Tai. Du Ji, also a pretty good administrator. Um, Bur oh, right, he's a burn officer too, right. Li Shu, okay. Tao Ang Xiao Yuan still on the field. Uh, did they ambush themselves or something? Yes, they did. They went and snuck up on us. Um, let's see what else we can do. Let's mess with diplomacy a bit more. Zhou Tai is right there. Now that we're super untrustworthy, but we should be super strong looking, you know, given all that territory we just grabbed. All right, we have six more trade routes. I'm just going to give it to you. It's not like he can provide me with anything of value, so it really doesn't matter what we get back from these vassals. I should have given him a bit more points, just so that she would like me a bit more. You have a daughter? Oh. Tal Tal's daughter and, uh... No, we'll pass. You're a nobody that got killed by Sun Jian, historically. I got cash. How does 5,000 sound? Here, I'm generous. I'll give you more than 5,000. Okay, the piece is out of the question. Alrighty. I think it's worth it. Although there's probably a lot of roster cleanup that we gotta do, but first let's see. Reset for Liu Chong. No, no, no. We got so many new characters. Maybe can we reset for Zhou Tai, perhaps? Although I think he starts with... Yeah, he starts with Undying Vow. And that's a pretty good line. I'll tell us level what? Five. Okay. We finally can return Talrin's bow if we want to. Tal Tal makes for a pretty good court position with its two extra spice. Oh, hold on. Who did we make into Grand Tutor? Uh, oh wait, no, no, no. Grand Tutor, he's, he's still alive. Hong Fuzong died. Hong Fuzong doesn't didn't have a position, so he's fine. Um, hmm. Who do I want to fire? Luo Jun, to be honest. Like this air is kind of shaky. Now, shouldn't Tao Tao be part of the family? Like, I can probably make Tao Tao into the air. Not sure, actually. It's not on the tree here, obviously, but I see, he, does he have the mark? Yes, distant relative. I don't know if he can make distant relative air though. Yes, you can, okay. Now, you didn't need to be here to begin with. We're gonna shift you over being administrator. Jincheng's not bad. Oh, Poyang, Poyang. No, Poyang's weird for him. He's uh, he's played best at like Huainan. Yeah. Hello there. Cao Cao's on duty all of a sudden and we get extra spice. Lots, so we can do some fun things here too. Uh, let's take a peek into Liu Chong's faction. <gasps> Empress He. Empress He. Okay.
maybe he can return our mother to I mean it makes sense Empress who will go join the Ultron's faction they are family after all uh it's hard to turn her though I need to turn someone else to help me turn her all right we need to look for someone with low points This is the lowest. Oh no, oh no, cancel, cancel, cancel. We're gonna have to wait. All right, I'm gonna save all the spots here for rescuing our mother. Side mission picked up. Um, armies, right, we now have enemies all over the place. Um, but let's see what we can do. We're gonna keep everyone, but not the units. Unfortunately, they didn't pick up many of Cao Cao's unique units, which is a bit of a shame. Those units are nice. We're probably also gonna relocate them. The Deep South is now pretty safe. Alright, Sun Tzu's land still need to be taken. Just to finish off the army correctly. Or not correctly, but just to have a full army. Yeah, so the south... Rebu can be recalled. Any supplies, basically. They have unique units. I might just keep the army as is. Well, right now, it doesn't matter if I change it, they're not going to heal, so I'm just going to wait on that. I am paying upkeep for a lot of these units, so... They're not good, or they're not unique. I'll get rid of those. Alright. Let me grab this first. I'm going to go down the tax collection route. Get the corruption reduction. We definitely need that. Alright, we saved you guys here because we knew this was going to happen. And I don't think there's any enemies right here. So I'm going to have you follow that, I guess. We could march. That amount of damage is not a big deal. Now we could still come here and sail up to take out his capital. Okay. Still him. What level is he? It's not bad, to be honest. Uh, these are not useful. Xiangyang, not useful. Set item, could be gold. Zhou Xin's old faction, it's on the southeastern coast. Um... 
This is probably worth more to us, right? Oh, I don't want that though, because I want the capitals, capital to spawn. I do like the population, but I do want the capital to spawn rebel, so we'll go with that one. Actually, I think this will stay, right? So we should try to find a better location. You do know, come on. You can better, you can do better. Udin's good. We'll do that. Set item. Oh, this is different now. Devastate enemy city in Shuhandong. Sure. Let's go. Which city did we devastate? Nothing on the front line. Oh, they do have armies around. We are on march. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, asking for trouble. While we do have seasonal deployment, I think we should pump out more armies here. This is where most of the action are. Zhang Liao with Cao Cao. As for strategists, he's on assignment. We should probably pull him. He's level six already. Mi Zhu. Let's do it. Again, I understand these are not great on Sentinels. As a matter of fact, the spear units are actually... Yeah, let's just do all spear. There's nothing wrong with that. The spear unit actually synergized quite well with Sentinels. You get the charge negation on top of the charge reflection and you're pretty much impossible to kill. And they're unbreakable. So also has some unique units that were gonna stay, and then everyone else would just just go with our unique spearmen. And we'll go a little bit crazy with the siege weapons. And flexibility, yes, you lead. Hop into here for a turn. We can still play power through here, not, not too concerned. We're probably gonna lose some land here, right? Because they'll they'll probably invade here and I I don't have an army nearby. Okay, so I think that's all the military action we need to take. You can go taller too. Not how I would build it. We do have a lot of trade routes, so 10% trade info might not be a bad thing. This is where we have our extra build for this year. Oh dear. Wow, very high level. Level 5, like...
I'm just gonna get rid of this one and this one. We'll probably keep that. We'll do land development, corruption reduction, and we'll keep it. No point to destroy it. We have the food, right? We still have 103 food. Okay, we're good. Let's continue. Helping us against the old tavern? Yes, please. Alrighty. So, that doesn't matter for us. Supply destroyed. Getting schemed against. Tongzhou has a son. Wenchou? Huh. Could be a spy, but we probably still recruit him. Um, nobody didn't attack us. He chickened out. There's some defense here. So looking at the situation, we have to take it a little bit slower. We can't just run to the capital. We're probably going to have to take these, um, you know, one at a time. So probably have to take this, take this, take this. Not a big deal, but still something we have to do. Uh, Tal Tal's army will play a safe as well. We'll come up to Yemen and work our way this way to reinforce them. We're probably going to dump more armies that we recalled over here as well. Uh, we'll probably take out our vassals at this rate as well. Um, capital still super safe. It's pretty far away from uh, spawning rebels, so we might not see that happen. We can rush this, I guess. Uh, but we're going to end our episode here. We'll come back and um, pick things up. Things are going really well. We picked up Tal Tal. That was really unexpected. We still have to sort out some of the armies he left us and some of the cities. And uh, there's still the war with Sun Tzu, who we probably have to force wipe. Uh, there's not much we can do about that. In terms of spies, we're trying to recover Empress, um, you know, right now she'll be Empress Dowager He, because she's the mom now. Uh, the, the, Liu Hong's dead. She's in Liu Chong's faction, so we'll try to get that to work out. Um, and then we're basically at war with everyone on the East Coast, and we're going to work our way up the coast and moving our army east slowly just to take them all out. Or just to contain them so they can't take our land and we'll work our way to the capital and end this campaign. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one and see you all next time. Bye!